Hello everybody, I am Joshua and welcome to this Sims 4 house building video. Now today I am building a house based off one that is in real life. Um, so this house is based off the Dunphy house from the show Modern Family. Now the reason I'm building this house is because it was suggested to me and um, when I had the voting thing up, I think it was last month. Um, this is what got the most votes, so that's why I'm building it. And of course, um, just like last time, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. You can just post a link to a picture of a house you want me to build or anything like that. Um, and that would be great, and um, I'll choose three houses and put them on my website uh, at some time. It might be later this month, or probably next month I'll do it. And then you can vote for them and I'll build that house, or at least a version of it, because um, like with this house, it was slightly challenging. Um, because the way that Modern Family is done is the real house um, from the outside is actually a real house and that's what they use when they film the exterior shots um, in the show. But when they show the characters inside the house, that's actually on a set. So the interior of the house in the show does not actually match the interior of the real house. And also, there's no pictures of the back or sides of the house, so I had to make that up. And also to make up the floor plan, because there's no floor plan images that I could find, so... You know, I tried to base the furnishing off of kind of what you'd find in the show, um, and that front of the house off kind of what you'd find in the show, but it was kind of a challenge. Um, and also, it's even harder since I don't watch that show, so um, I had to do a little bit of research. But I think this turned out pretty good, and, um, you know, if you watch the show, you can tell me what you think. Anyway, um, you can see I've already built the house as I've rambled on, and um, got the roof going here, and you can see this is the front um, porch area, I guess you'd call it. It's not like a porch, the front step. Um, yeah, because like the real house has a lot of thick trim above that, um, so that was kind of challenging to recreate since you can't do that in this game. And But I mean, to have freezes, you have to have really high walls, which is not the way the real house is, so... Yeah, that was a bit of a challenge. Anyway, um, I started with green siding, but eventually changed it to brown siding, like halfway through the video or something. So you'll see that, but, you know, for the first half I left it green because I thought that was better, but I decided that maybe not. Because if you look up pictures of the real house, um, I might put a link to the real uh, pictures of the real house in the description. Um, but, yeah, the real house is like this brownish green, so it's like in between, it's not really brown, it's not like this green, and it's not really brown like the roof. It's kind of like an in-between, I guess, like a muddy brown type color. But, um, yeah, anyway, you can see here, putting in some windows. Um, got some nice long windows on the side of that fireplace, which, um, again, I'm not sure where the fireplaces are in the real house, but, um, you know, I thought it looked kind of right there, so that's where I put it. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm putting a nice kind of brick texture on the chimney. Again, there's no pictures I could find of what the chimney's actually made out, out of, so... You know, I tried my best to come up with something that kind of recreated it as best as I could, but again, there's, it's not going to be perfect. And you can see there's the front door, and I was experimenting with different colors at this point, but I actually left it green and then eventually came back later and changed it. Yeah, so, yeah, you can see I just left it green for now. Um, anyway, we're moving to the floor plan here. Then I was trying out some different wall heights, as you saw, but I didn't work out, so I didn't do that. Um, anyway, the real house, like the actual physical house in real life, um, is four bedrooms, although in the game it's I only was able to fit three bedrooms in, so um, I'm not sure how many bedrooms are in the house on the TV show, but um, yeah, if there are four, then I'm sorry, I couldn't fit four, but it's got three bedrooms, or if there's a bedroom in the first floor, I didn't put one down there, because again, I couldn't find floor plans, so I had no idea. Um, yeah, I tried to base the living room, dining room, and kitchen um, off of the real house, and it's like the master bedroom I tried to. But again, it was really hard to actually make it look um, the same, so I tried my best. Anyway, landscaping here again, trying to match landscaping, which is kind of difficult because the, there's no really tall and really thin trees in the game, because um, that's what's on either side of the house. But you can see here, I had to use bamboo, which was a little bit out of place, but it was the best I could do. Um, anyway, down the side of the house, there's a bunch of trees, or really in real life, there's another house right next to it, but obviously in The Sims 4, houses aren't really that close together, so, it is kind of, and also, on that side, is not even a house, it's like the river, so, you know, but I put the trees there anyway, and I'm not sure if there is a garage or not, because it's not in any pictures I could find, but, so I, did, I just put a driveway in, um, so I guess that kind of works good enough. Um, yeah, so there's also there's a nice balcony there off the master bedroom. Um, I have two here, um, originally, but I take that one on the right off because it makes no sense to be there, so, yeah, I just 
I think I made that part of the actual bedroom, like the interior of the bedroom, so it was better use of space. Um, and anyway, we can see here we have a nice back porch. Again, I'm not sure what the back of the real house looks like, so as this is, um, the back and sides of the house are just kind of what I came up with myself. Um, the front is really the only part that's based off the real house. Um, but anyway, uh, more landscaping here. There's a bunch of flowers and a lot of ferns. I don't know if there's really ferns. I don't know what they are. Those plants in the very front. I'm not entirely sure like the ones I'm placing now. Um, I'm not sure what they are technically. They look like a type of fern, so I'll go with that. Anyway, putting, um, oh, I'm finished landscaping for now, and what are we looking at here? Oh, uh, yeah, the kitchen. Um, that's going to be the kitchen and dining room in this kind of back room here. Um, and the where the fireplace is is going to be the living room, and the formal dining room will be in the very front next to the front door. Um, yeah, anyway, this is the kitchen. Um, the real house kind of has greenish colored cabinets. It's like a yellowy, greeny color. I don't really know. Um, but obviously there's no creative style in the game, so I had to go with whatever they had, and they definitely don't have any cabinets of that color. Unless you use, like, the ultra-modern ones, but that definitely does not suit this house, so... Yeah, what I ended up doing was going with some, like, nice warm brown cabinets. You see I have white ones here, but I do change it later on. Um, but yeah, trying to base the cabinet layout to the real house, um, again, it's kind of hard. It's also next to the oven is some basement stairs, but because my stairs are going the other direction than they are in the real house, and also since you can't really do basements in The Sims 4, that's not included, but, you know, again, I'm trying my best here. Um, I put in some upper cabinets, as you can see. Um, for some reason, that corner bit did not want to cooperate. Um, but one thing I really like about The Sims 4's cabinets is that, like, that island snaps together really nicely. In The Sims 3, I had to, like, put in a cheat and then, like, line it up, and it's a big mess. Anyway, it snaps together really nicely in The Sims 4, at least, for islands. Like, nice square islands like that. Um, it's really easy to do. Yeah, anyway, um, the kitchen, for some reason, in the real house is wood floors, and I guess, well, I guess... Yeah, I guess you can have wood floors in the kitchen. I mean, I'm, look at me saying it's weird to have wood floors in the kitchen when my own house has wood floors in the kitchen. Yeah, but I don't know. Usually in The Sims, I try to put tile floor in the kitchen, but this house has wooden floors. Anyway, that's not really important. Um, you can see I put some trim uh, around the outside, and um, I'm just trying to make this front entrance look more like the real house, but eventually I discover some trim I can put in, um, which I do, but not yet. Anyway, here I'm changing the color of the cabinets to the brown I was talking about, which looks a little bit better. Um, and I also changed the backsplash too. Uh, I changed it to this kind of brick color. I couldn't really tell what the backsplash was made out of. It looked like kind of subway tiles um, in the real house, but I like the brick anyway. So I went with that. Um, but yeah, so that's the kit bones of the kitchen. I'm going to put in a bunch of details and stuff in a moment. But you can also see this is going to be the kind of eat-in area. I mean, I call it the dining room. But um, it's the only dining room I could find pictures of, and it's kind of like off the kitchen, so that's what it is. Um, yeah, I also added some nice large windows right out the back there, which is actually really nice. And when I put in some curtains, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, so basically the kitchen and this kind of eat-in area, dining room area, whatever, um, is very red. Um, there's a lot of red and white, which actually looks really nice. I like the look of that. So you can see here, I have the red rug, and um, I'm going to put some more red elements and like red curtains. You can see there's already a red curtain there. Um, yeah, so basically I just put a bunch of red stuff in. It looks really nice. So you can see there we have a red curtain, um, and the curtains will go down all, the, go all down the other wall as well um, with the large windows, so that looks really nice. Anyway, you can see here it's putting in a bunch of little details and decorative elements, um, you know, just to kind of make it look more lived in, more realistic, because the real kitchen does have a bunch of stuff in it, so I'm just doing that. Well, when I say real kitchen, it's the kitchen that's in the show, it's in the set. The real kitchen in the house, like the physical house in real life, is different than the one in the show, um, because all the interior shots for the show are filmed separately on a stage, or not really a stage, on a set. So, you know, they made it a little bit more challenging, but nevertheless, um, it turned out quite nicely. Anyway, you can see here I put in all the curtains, and um, it looks quite nice. I like the look of that. And I'm putting in some under cabinet lighting just to make the kitchen a bit brighter, and um, and some rugs as well, just like some mats in there. I don't think the real house has that, but I like the look of it in the game, so I put them in. Anyway, putting in some interior doors upstairs. Um, the upstairs is not entirely accurate, and that's mainly due to the fact that I couldn't find any floor plan shots, so I have no idea. And also, you know, there's no floor plan shots at the set of the show because it's not a real house, so... It made it a little bit challenging, but, um, I just kind of tried to model the bedrooms off what it really looked like, what it really would have looked like. 
and stuff like that. Anyway, you can see I'm actually changing the color of the house here. Um, it's going green. I mean, it's going brown instead of green, which I kind of like better, so you can see that's why I did that. Um, yeah, anyway, just I'm trying, <laughs> I'm really messing around with the roof eaves there, so I'm trying to find some way to make that um, front porch area look better, but I couldn't. Um, I put these little posts here, like these little fence things, these little walls, I guess is what they are. Because um, the real house kind of has some posts on your side of the driveway, so, you know, just trying to make it look more real. I mean, it looks real, but I mean, like, more like the real house. Um, yeah, anyway, putting in a bunch of shrubs and stuff behind the driveway, I mean, at the end of the driveway, um, and you'll see I'll um, put in a nice little bird bath and stuff um, in the landscaping. And we're getting a toy car and resizing it to make it look like a real car, and that's a trick I've been using. Um, so it looks like it's a real car there. I don't know what car they have in the show, and even if I did know, it wouldn't matter because it's probably not represented in the game, so... Yeah, anyway, um, continuing the landscaping down the side here, and I will put a bird bath, which I like the bird bath in this game. I know it's like such a minor thing, but I really do like it. It looks so, so quaint. Not quaint, I don't know. That is kind of cool. Anyway, extending the back porch, adding in another step, another step, adding in a step, and a railing, and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the landscaping finished. Um, and I will put the bird bath in, like I said. <laughs> anyway, putting in a nice table and chair to the umbrella, and there's the bird bath. And, um, a grill, which you can see there. And I really like the stone pavers, kind of, that's on the back patio. It looks, or porch, rather. It looks kind of nice, I like that. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's the entrance, um, where I just put the stuff. And, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so then the, um, what was it called? The... Formal dining room is going to be kind of next to the entrance, which you'll see, I'll get to that in a moment. But for now, I'm just putting in some like fake balconies around the windows, um, because it looks nicer. Um, I know it's probably not on the real house, but I like the look of it, so I did it anyway. Um, I put these shades out the back as well. Um, I don't know, I just provide a little bit of shade or something. Um, you know. Anyway, some outdoor lighting, just a brief amount of outdoor lighting. And, um, we're going to go back inside. Let's see, I'm still trying to figure out that front porch area, but it didn't really work out. Anyway, putting some mats around the exterior doors, and um, yeah, so anyway, I'm still messing around with the roofs. I'm trying to make the roof look better, though it was really kind of challenging, um, but I, guess I think it ends up looking like it is now, because I put some trim around that front area, so we'll get to that. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is the living room, and you can see it's got a nice fireplace, and I'm putting in some wallpaper. Um, the living room has got a green color scheme, and in the real house, it's actually red and blue. But since there's really no good matching red and blue furniture in the game, I had to go with green, kind of. Green and white kind of went better together. I mean, those these chairs, and only that chair only comes in three colors, beige, red, or green. It's really annoying. And the chair in the real house is like a blue and white striped, and I can't do that without creative style. It really is, it's really frustrating at times not having creative style because you're like really, really limited by what you have. But, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because I've gone back to The Sims 3 and I'm like, and I find myself using creative style less and less because I'm not used to using it now. It's kind of annoying. I mean, I feel like it's really limiting the creativity, but whatever. Um, yeah, so putting in some curtains, I do change them to green curtains. Um, kind of slightly over the top, but it looks alright. They're like giant curtains, but... Whatever. Um, putting in some mirrors. I really like those mirrors, actually. They're kind of nice. Um, and some nice tables on the other side of the couch. And, um, oh, here I found the trim. Yeah, I put that trim around the front door. Um, that, there's really a portico, I guess is what it's called. And you can see I put some trim around there, and it made it look a little bit better. Um, a little bit more like the real house, though. Not entirely, but a little bit better. Um, and you can see here I raised up the floor height, or the ceiling height, rather. Um, yeah, it didn't really work out, so I ended up putting it back. Um, you know, I thought maybe it would work, but then when I went inside, it just looked way too tall, the ceilings, so I put it all back the way it was. Um, and yeah, so basically here I am going to finish the living room and also make this front room here that you can see a study, which I'm not sure, again, if there's a study in the real house or in the show or whatever, but I had this space, so I made it the study, and um, I think it looks, it looks really nice in the end. Um, it has cozy space. And this room here, or the room next to the front door, will be a um, formal dining room, which you'll see as well. Anyway, putting in a small sitting area in this side of the living room. Um, just got a couple of chairs and a table. The other chair is coming soon. Um, where's the other chair? Come on. I don't know. Um, putting in a few plants around the place, and I guess I put the other chair in later, so 
to hold tight on that one. Um, anyway, we're moving out of the study, and you can see here it's got a nice desk. It goes like this dark kind of mauve color on the walls. And I do change the curtains from green to blue, don't worry. Um, yeah, and it looks kind of nice. It's kind of a cozy space. Um, you know, there's no door to it, though, just an archway, so it makes it a little bit feel a little bit more open, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, you can see there I have a bookshelf. I put a couple bookshelves in here. A computer, a tablet, that little green sim plum bob light. <laughs> um, and yeah, putting in a couple chairs. I also get a nice table with a fishbowl on it, which is kind of a nice touch. I and mean, an orange rug is an accent. I'm still not sure about that orange rug, but it looks kind of nice, so I left it in there. Um, yeah, anyway, putting in some paintings and some details and clutter items in the room. Um, I also put in a bookshelf down that side, on that wall. And those curtains are not different colors, it's just the lighting is really weird. It's just a glitchy lighting, so those two blue curtains are actually the same color. So, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just finishing up the furnishings in that room, and we're moving on now to the entrance of the house, um, which I actually end up closing in. Um, so there's a nice side table next to the front door, and I go with this kind of blue um, trimmed wallpaper with like these squares in it for the, what do you call it, the formal dining room. So you can see there I put a wall there for the um, entrance, and you can see I'm just adding some more furniture here to the living room. Uh, another table there, and a bit of artwork. And this is the formal dining room, so you can see we have a nice large table, um, putting a bunch of chairs around it, which I do change um, in a moment. When do I change the chairs? I don't know. I think I change them a bit later. But you can see there I have a nice rug. It's just a very simple room, but um, there we go. I changed the chairs. Um, very simple room. Um, I mean, there's a pretty decent sized dining table in the kitchen, but I guess this is nice if you're having a party or whatever. Um, yeah, anyway, putting a nice china cabinet in there next to the bathroom door. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the formal dining room. It's a pretty simple room. I put a um, grandfather clock in too later. Um, anyway, here we go. I'm changing the sitting area. I added the second chair, which I was talking about earlier, a lamp, and that's basically it. Um, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the half bathroom here. So you can see just very basic half bathroom, sink and toilet. Um, a few little details here and there, but that's pretty much it. It's just a pretty simple half bathroom um, if it's required. If you know, it probably it's good to have a half bathroom on the main floor. Um, so you don't have to go upstairs. Um, so this house, actually, I said before, it's three bedrooms, but it's also got two and a half bathrooms, so not that many bathrooms, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm putting in a grandfather clock here, so you can see there's a nice white grandfather clock with a plant next to it, and also I put a painting there, and um, yeah, so I think that's the first floor actually finished, um, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to move upstairs and do the three bedrooms and two bathrooms that are up here. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing the landing here. Um, it's pretty simple, didn't really put that much in to it. Um, you can see there's a nice side table there with the painting over it. I don't even know what that painting is of. It's like a cat playing a drum and there's another cat playing a saxophone in the background. I don't know. Whatever. Don't question it. Um, putting in some curtains. You know, pretty simple landing. And we're moving on to this bedroom, which I'm... You know, I found pictures of it online and like on Google Images and it's had said something to do with the Dunphy house, so I'm not sure if it's actually in the show or in the real house or whatever. I have a feeling it might actually be in the real house and not in the show, but whatever. Um, it's a really pretty bedroom, so I decided to put it in here. So you can see here, um, it's a nice bed. You got these two um, curtains, I mean two windows with curtains on your side of the bed. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty small bedroom, um, but it does have a TV, which is nice, and you know a nice chair with a mirror. So I mean, it's pretty nice. It's not the master bedroom. The master bedroom is a bit larger, and it has its own bathroom, which this one doesn't. But this is a pretty nice guest bedroom. Um, you know, it's also got a fireplace too. It's actually the only bedroom with a fireplace, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so there's a few things on top of the fireplace, and just a few things on top of the dresser, and a couple mirrors on the wall, I believe. Um, yeah, I actually get rid of the plants and put mirrors up instead. That's interesting. Yeah, but anyway, that's pretty much this bedroom. Put a rug on the floor to finish it off, and I was frustrated again because that rug I put in originally did not come in any color I wanted it to, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that bedroom complete. A really nice bedroom. I like how it turned out. Um, yeah, anyway, what are we doing here? We're moving on to the bathroom that's on this level. Um, it's just the guest bathroom, um, not the master bathroom, because it's off, because it is off the hallway, though it does have a separate tub and shower, which the master bathroom does not. There's not enough room in it, um, for that. So this is kind of t technically the nicest bathroom in the house, but whatever. Yeah, so you have a nice separate tub and shower, a sink, and a bunch of details and stuff like that. And yeah, this is a nice guest bathroom overall. And yeah, anyway, we're moving on to the master bedroom 
here, which is a much larger bedroom. Um, once I make the bathroom smaller, it's quite a funky shape at the moment. But yeah, I make the bathroom a bit smaller, and that's the reason I couldn't fit the separate tub and shower in. But otherwise, I couldn't fit a double bed in the bedroom, so... You know, that's a bit weird. Um, but anyway, um, a nice bed, um, which I just got rid of. I was trying to find a good-looking bed, though. It was kind of hard, because I was trying to make this bed look like the bed that's in the actual master bedroom. Um, now, I believe the master bedroom in the real... Like, not I mean, in the show, not in the real house. But the master bedroom in the show is square, or rectangular. But obviously not that shape in this house, because it was a little bit of a challenge to do that, so... But the furnishings I tried to match, um... Um, you know, you can tell me what you think, how well I did, I don't even know. I tried. Um, but yeah, there's a nice little nook here with another dresser and a mirror. Uh, I put a sitting area, of course, I think I put a bookshelf in. There's a bunch of nice stuff, um, all very nice. And, um, yeah, anyway, before we close the building part of the video, which we're not quite finished yet, but we will be soon, um, I just want to tell you, you can download this house in the gallery. Now, I know people have been having troubles downloading stuff off the gallery, downloading my houses, but really, all you need to do is make sure you go to the gallery and go to search by username. So not search by um, object name, search by username, and then search Simtastic Builder. And then make sure that your um, filters for the search are set to everyone and not to maxes only. So if you just search with your filters set to everyone and search by origin ID, Simtastic Builder, all of my stuff will come up, all my houses, all my sims. Everything will be there. Trust me, I've done it myself. I know it works. Um, so that's all there is to it. And yes, you can download my house in the gallery, and yeah. So basically, that's the master bedroom and master bathroom finished. Um, and we're moving on to the final bedroom, which is right here. This is a girl's bedroom. Now, I don't know the cast of Modern Family, so I presume it's a girl in it because I saw this, like, a similar kind of bedroom in the show. Um, the bedroom I've seen from the picture of the show was a lot bigger than this one, but this was just all the space I had left over, so I tried to cram everything in. Um, I kind of made like a teen's girl's room, a teen girl bedroom, though to be honest, I'm not sure who it's actually made for. So, you know, I tried my best. Um, like I said, for someone that doesn't watch the show, um, I tried. Anyway, I discovered you could actually put stuff in this bookshelf, which was really cool. I didn't know you could do that, and I got really excited by that. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's so a pretty simple bedroom, though I like the way it turned out. Um, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for the furnishing. I think I'm done, um, with furnishing. And after this, there's going to be some screenshots and stuff for you to enjoy, so please, um, stick around for that. It would be great. And also, um, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, any comment, and, um, check out some of my other videos. I make a bunch of videos like this. You can subscribe. And, um, anyway, just adding the final touches. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, bye. Thank you.